Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This table is about to be stuffed with wheat stuff, which I'm so excited for. I cannot wait. But before we get into the tea, the grubbing, the eating, I want to thank SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. Girl, there's way too many concerts coming up. The Drake concert, Bad Bunny, Fade, Javi, and you need to be outside. Catch me outside. Catch you outside. SeatGeek is where you guys want to go to grab your tickets to any live event that's coming up. Whether it's concerts, festivals, comedy shows. If there's an event happening, can you open up your SeatGeek app and grab your tickets? There's over 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek and they also have over 28 million downloads. They are rated the number one ticketing app. They make grabbing tickets to any event so easy. Just open up your SeatGeek app and they also even rate the tickets for you guys from 1 to 10. Look for the green dot which means good and the red means bad. Every ticket is also backed with a virus guarantee and SeatGeek is actually the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swap. And you know, SeatGeek and myself come through for you guys with my code Let's Do Makeup. You guys get $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. Make sure you click my link in the description to download the app, grab your tickets, and be outside. It's summer time, girl. We're going outside. No, but really, the wing stuff just got here, so here we Okay. Let's get into it, why don't we? I'm out of breath. I had to bring the food upstairs to hide from the hubby, the kids. We're, we're hiding upstairs, girl. Oh, sh shit, my camera's about to die. We got the battery. Hot mess, hot mess. <laughs> okay, camera is set up, we are ready. I got my Code Zero supplies, and I went in, ladies. I have not had wing stuff in a good minute. I was actually gonna do Buffalo Wild Wings. You guys know those are my favorite wings. But the thing with Buffalo Wild Wings is, whenever I order Buffalo Wild Wings delivery, I feel like they just get here. They're just not it. You have to eat them there, and that's the only reason why we're not having Buffalo Wild Wings today. Ah, I don't deserve this. But wing stuff will do it. Love me some wing stuff. We have the veggies, carrots. What I can is a special pepper. The table needs to be like this. Hold up, let me get closer to you. All that, ladies. Ah. Cheese fries, which I have actually never had at wing stop. We got regular fries. We got atomic wings. Fun fact, this is my number one absolute favorite flavor at wing stop. Bone-in lemon pepper. Corn, Cajun, Cajun corn, but I actually don't use the Cajun seasoning. I add lemon pepper to mine. Mango habanero boneless and regular hot boneless. I'm obviously not gonna be able to finish all this by myself, but I will be sharing with my beloved ones if I don't finish it. Some ranch and si me queda espacio, a brownie. I've never tasted their brownies, but it looks busting. So we got a brownie. The lid's bugging. I give up. I give up. How long it's taking me to start this video? Oh my god. Y'all, is someone pranking me? I dropped my wings. I dropped the eyes. But anyways, I am so excited for this video. Last video, we left off. And me sharing with you guys that we will be having... Drum roll, please. In case you missed it, our wedding will be a destination wedding in Guadalajara, which I'm so excited for. I honestly, okay, let's backtrack. Why a destination wedding? What made us decide to go with that? Well, first, I need a bite, guys. I have not ate. I'm so hungry. I was like waiting for my appetite to get bigger and bigger and juicier and juicier for me to really enjoy my wing stop. And please appreciate one, my eyeliner, which was also me di un Tiro, literally, to get my eyeliner today, like it was just not having it. And then now with the wings, I'm like, you want me to eat you or not? Literally made un tiro to set this up, but it is all worth it. We're here and I'm engaged and I'm gonna get married eight. First of all, taste test the cheese fries from Wingstop. Not me blowing on them. They've been sitting here for like 30 minutes while I set this up. They cold as hell, baby. Either I'm hungry or these are... Oh my god, these are so fire. Mm -hmm. Let's get into one mango habanero. But after he proposed back in 1964 and we started talking about the wedding, he always told me like the wedding is 100% whatever you want. If you want to have a red, yellow, orange, pink pussy, I want for the wedding to be 100% whatever you want and whatever is going to make you happy is what I want as well. Mmm. These are hitting spots I didn't know I had. I feel like the first two things you decide when it comes to wedding planning is where do you want to have your wedding and when do you want to have your wedding? We knew we wanted to get married this year. And as far as where, I had never really like fully thought that far ahead. And if you, my girlies back at home, remember in one of my lives and a couple of lives actually, when you guys would ask me, I would always say like a destination wedding would be something that I would want, but I don't know. I don't think we will. Like we'll see because at the time, obviously we didn't know yet. And I kind of... 
and it kind of always stayed like that till it came down to like oh snap it's time to like get it down cracking to the actual details and make stuff official so to me having a destination wedding somewhere in mexico was always like a fantasy to me those kind of weddings are the ones that i would see and i'd be like oh my god like that's such a fairy tale like that's such a dream like so i always kind of just pushed it away and was like no more than likely not because of the kids and the hassle and the traveling and finding somebody out there to like plan the wedding it just seemed like a lot at the moment and looking at my plate it already seemed full that i was like i mean i really would love and that's a fantasy to me like having una boda in mexico but is it something that we're really going to go through and we started looking at venues here we looked at a couple and there was one that we absolutely loved here in our hometown mind you the place the venue the coordinators the owners they were amazing such a beautiful spot by the way if you guys hear my kids in the background daddy is with them it's not worrying but we did see about three spots here and there was one that we absolutely fell in love with so I started shifting more towards having a wedding here. Mind you, I had just also had Kaeli. My brand had just launched. Like my head was really full that I was just like, so I just started shifting more to us having our wedding here. All of our family and most of our friends are from here. So it just seemed like, I guess like the easy, easy answer. At the time we had not booked anything, signed anything. It was all like kind of us just touring. And the last visit that we had there, we were already with my wedding planner kind of sketching like what I wanted, what the vibe was, the entrance, where the guests were gonna be. Like we were starting to take it that route already so 10 months prior to the event you have to sign contracts leave a deposit and you know just make sure that you do want the date if not so the venue can go ahead and give the date to somebody else so the time came 10 months <laughs> before the wedding with the day that we originally had for our venue here and this is gonna sound a little corny a little cheesy a little ay ay but something in me just didn't feel right like I didn't feel 100% sure of the decision of us having our wedding here and it wasn't because of the venue or our coordinator like literally everything was perfect on that end and it was just to me I was just like ah like I, it just <laughs> I just, I just didn't feel like this was what I wanted my wedding to be, you know? So it was literally like a whole week back and forth, not sleeping. <laughs> I had to make a decision and the main person, the main person that I was obviously asking was Alex and he was very much like, it seems like you really just want to have your wedding out there. Like we will make that happen. Like if this is something that you always dreamt of and this was like what you would want your wedding to be, like let's make it happen. It, I don't want to say it was solely just the kids, but of course if you're a parent out there, you know having kids obviously changes an answer and trips and just everything. I was like, dang, I really have all of the, and I say this in a really blessed, grateful, humble way, all of the means to make my fairy tale dream wedding come true. Like, why am I not gonna do that? Like, it's literally a once in a lifetime thing that's going to happen. And my wedding planner was super helpful as well. Oh my God, these are so good. If you guys don't ask for them with lemon pepper, you guys should because Mm, they're fire girl. So I was like, okay, it's going to happen and here it's where I get a little no I played oh my god I played in my head sitting here telling you guys this story and I was literally bawling my eyes out I'm like, I'm gonna start crying when I tell them and I'm trying not <laughs> to cry while I sit here with you guys But <clears throat> but now to get I guess a little vulnerable or <laughs> whatever you say that vulnerable with you guys in a little bit more on a personal level Which is why I said this video is strictly <laughs> for my girlies that I just like that know me We go way back and just tell you guys this but another big reason aside my kids and my full plate And me not knowing if adding a destination wedding was going to add too much aside that a big 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 part big reason as to why I really contemplated that and was kind of just settling and when I say settling I mean because to me like a destination in Mexico wedding was my dream <laughs> so to me like I guess not doing that a big reason of that was because because you guys know that my dad has not traveled with us ever in our entire lifetime so mind you my dad is the best the most the everything in a dad like I have you guys know my dad is super present in my life and has always given me the world and he's the, the best dad <laughs> really anybody could ask for but I knew us having a destination was a big a big possibility that maybe my dad wouldn't be there And that obviously to me was like a huge deal breaker So it was just a lot like I was saying in that week back and forth the pros the con the possibility that my dad would not go out there And I know it's just because he does not 
traveled and he is uh long story short and i never really get too much into detail about all this because i know i'm sharing this to like a huge amount of you guys but back to my dad being amazing my dad is just in his work monday through sunday that's all he does that's all he lives for <laughs> really in his workspace which is truly what just makes him happy that was like a huge con in my decision so i went ahead and just went 100 completely with my gut i talked to god i have a relationship with god and i always tell god oh why am i getting so emotional <laughs> I always tell God like my life, my decisions, my businesses, my money, my kids, my family, everything is yours. So whatever I decide is your decision, your decision. And that's what was meant to happen because God has full control of my decision, of my wedding, of where it's going to be, like whether our wedding is in a roof in Mexico and Hawaii, that's, you know, what was meant to be for me because God has like full control of my life. So I just felt it in me that I wanted to have a destination wedding. And I just decided on that. And when we started telling like our friends, and family everybody was like super excited super geeked as soon as i want to start talking like about this i instantly get emotional and i think I think a big part of that is also because I never really talk about this, especially to you guys, um, which is not a bad thing. It's just something, I guess, daddy issues if you want to call them. I don't know, but having a destination wedding also meant that it would be our first, it would be my dad's first time ever traveling with us. And what better than for it to be my wedding? Uh, he is 100% on board, so my dad will be there. And oh, I probably seem like dramatic to you guys right now. What the heck? two weeks later we were out there looking at venues and that trip we saw the venue and it was just like perfect literally the moment me and alex walked in we were like this is the one like this is the one we actually had an appointment for another one after there and we didn't even end up going to our last appointment because it was just breathtaking to me and alex at least it was like oh the gates of heaven <laughs> opening you guys know i'm not the cheesy or the corny type and you guys would tell me like you'll know like when you walk into the venue like you'll see yourself there and it was literally like a Rosa de Guadalupe moment. I'm like, babe, will you marry me? Just kidding. But I was like, this is the place. And I was a little skeptical on sharing this with my dad. I didn't know the possibility of him not being there on my wedding, but back to him being like the best dad ever and always giving me the world. I should have known that of course he was going to be there for me, but you know, just having that possibility, it was just like, ugh. God truly always just has the best plans in his hands. A uh, fun fact, my wedding will be the first time ever that my dad travels with us and just having him there so that alone bites the wing <laughs> but that alone to me has me like in a ball of tears Ooh. knowing that i'm traveling with my dad to marry the love of my life and my dad will get to walk me down the aisle in mexico to hand me over to alex like in my head this <laughs> oh that alone is truly all i ever dreamt about for my wedding. Oh. So, so si Dios quiere nos da permiso, there's really nothing that could happen that day that is going to like ruin my wedding or something went wrong. Like I'm just so happy. I'm so excited for it. Also another pro, which a lot of our friends, all of our friends and family were super excited for is because obviously we have our wedding here. It's, it's like a one day wedding. And then afterwards, plus everybody goes home and stuff. So it's exciting because everybody's kind of seeing our wedding, like a little mini getaway, mini vacation. It's going to be a good time. So yeah, that's basically where we're at. I know it's going to be beautiful. I'm literally so excited. The fact that I'm marrying the love of my life, the perfect man, the father of my kids, my soulmate, like nothing can go wrong. Having my dad and of course my mom, my parents there is a huge plus. Our family there, like it's going to be such a good day. You guys tell me and I know like something is gonna go wrong that day, right? Like I don't think there's like a perfect wedding, is there? I feel like somebody had at least one or two little things go wrong, but I already told myself like all of those things are irrelevant, whatever it is that <laughs> may happen to go wrong. Se me rompe el or something. I don't know. Knock on wood. Ah, I will have the most valuable things with me there. And also my kitty, my kitties, <laughs> the puppies. I'm just kidding. And also my kids there. So yeah. And I just wanted to kind of share this, this side with you guys and a little bit, I guess, more in debt on how this went about. Cause it wasn't just like a yes or no thing. Meant less. Have you all bought in your dress for my wedding? We are five months away from wedding day. And after that, ya voy a estar casada. No, ya no voy a poder salir con ustedes. No, es que no me deja el marido. Ahorita sí puedo. Estoy juntada, tengo hijos, pero no, no estoy casada. No, no, no. Estoy juntada con hijos, pero casada, no. Pero ya después no me va a dejar salir el marido.
but I just cannot wait to be like, oh, this is my husband. So respect him, bitch. And you host too. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.